guys, I'm Bethany. Um, wow, I do not use my full name, but I suppose I don't normally introduce myself. But. I'm Beth, and you're, well, you are you. So today I'm going to start a new series. So today I'm doing 10 random facts. Let's get started with that. Fact number one. If you lift a kangaroo's tail, it cannot hop. I mean, can you imagine that? Like, that is kind of weird. Like, how does it use its tail? And how does somebody know that? I mean, did they go up to kangaroo, hold its tail, and then try and, like, watch it hop? Okay, so that was a random fact, but not actually what I meant. Not all of them are going to be like that. My ten random facts are going to be about me, but, you know, I thought I'd start it off with a jump. Yeah. So I had a spinal condition called scoliosis. Um, had because I had an operation for it, so technically I do not have it anymore. But you know. Um, so this is this is literally just the curvature of the spine. So yeah, that was fun. Scoliosis can be a genetic thing, and on that note, did you know that King Richard the Third had scoliosis? So you know must be related to royalty somehow. Fact number three. I can slash could lick my elbow. Fact number four. I know pi to a lot of decimal places like ridiculous but I suppose you could say that a ridiculous number is anything above 3.14. So here we go. 8327950. People are always like, oh, you could just be saying any random number. Like, how do we know that you're actually reciting pi? And the answer to that is, it is officially that. I will leave a link to the website, which is essentially, it's a million decimal places of pi. So I know like 30 odd. Long way to go. I can solve a Rubik's Cube in under two minutes pretty much every single time. Um, the thing that I say about that is once you know how to solve a Rubik's Cube it's pretty much impossible not to solve it because it's the same pattern every time. I can speak Italian. Um, I'm not like 100% fluid. fluid. <laughs> I'm not 100% fluent um, but I can technically speak it. I'm studying it at A levels at the moment um, so I did the GCSE for it last year, AS and E2 for that this year. Fact number seven. I totally have not just lost count of how many facts I've done. I am on fact number seven. How else, how else can we do that? Seven. That's another way. Try and think quickly. No, no. Yeah, that one. Ah! <laughs> I'm not a fan of roller coasters. Like, I do not do big rides. I'm not even a massive fan of the log flume. I just, I, I don't know, I guess it's the feeling of like the draw. I just do not like that. Which also applies to pretty much any other form of dropping. So I've been climbing recently and um, the first time I went I fell and the last time that I went I fell and both times from about five feet, which really isn't much. It's like about four inches lower than I am tall. So it's like not even my full height to that distance I fell. And it scares the heck out of me. Like, I seriously, I do not like falling. Please tell me I'm not alone on this. That being said, though, I'm not scared of heights, so, you know. Like, I'm happy to be up high as long as I don't have to fall. Fact number eight. This is really starting to use my brain. My school bag that I used from late year nine through to the end of year 11, so that's two and a bit years, plus the occasional usage through in year 12 for the first couple of months like till Christmas maybe. That school bag that I used was one that I made. Yeah. I made it and it lasted that long. I'm pretty proud and I really wish I could show you but I can't find it. But I will see if I can find a picture of it because I'm sure there must be one somewhere. Number nine. We are nearly at the end of this video. Yes you can make a sad face but don't worry because I will be back soon. Um. And you know what? It's ironic because my fact number nine, despite almost being a goodbye, is actually I can say hello in um, I can say hello in ten different languages. So I'll be honest, 
I'm counting English as my first language for this. So, hello. Um, then we have Japanese, konnichiwa. Spanish, hola. Uh, Setswana, this is a strange language. So this is the language they speak in an African country called Botswana. Um, and it's Dumela. My French one is Salut. Then Italian, ciao. Um, Swedish, hey. But it is spelled H E J. So, yeah. Hello. That's German. Uh, Ni hao. Chinese. Aloha. Hawaii. My fact number 10 is if I could learn any instrument in the world, I would learn to play the cello. Not the ukulele. I've got a ukulele. It is a work in progress, as you can see in this video. ukulele videos down in the description so you can go check those out as well cool um but yeah if i could learn any instrument in the world i would learn to play cello so those were today's 10 random facts first episode of my 10 10 series um if you like this then please give it a big thumbs up comment down below and click the red subscribe button and otherwise i will see you soon bye guys